Welcome to the level B video for identifying, adding, subtracting, and multiplying polynomials. So in this level, we're going to take what you learned in the previous level about adding, subtracting, and multiplying, and just apply it to some harder problems. So for number one, when I have a minus sign in between two parentheses, what I like to do is pretend that that's a negative one, and then distribute it. So I'm going to distribute this negative 1 to everything in there and keep the first parenthesis the same. So 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 7x minus x cubed plus 10x squared minus 8. When I multiply each thing in the second parenthesis by negative 1, really that just changes the sign. Now that I've done that, all I have to do is combine like terms. So I've got 3x cubed and negative x cubed which makes 2x cubed. I've got 2x squared plus 10x squared, which gives me 12x squared. Then I've got negative 7 minus 8, which gives me negative 15. All right, for this next one, I have three parentheses, but it's still the same type of problem where I'm looking for like terms. Since both of my signs are addition, I don't need to distribute anything here. So I've got a 4y cubed and a 3y cubed. So that gives me 7y cubed. I've got a negative 2y squared and a negative 2y squared. So that gives me negative 4y squared. And I've got negative 6y plus 4y, which gives me negative 2y. All right, for this next one, we have a binomial a parenthesis where there's two terms, and it's squared. Whenever you square something, remember that means you're multiplying it by itself. So this is the same thing as having 4x minus 3 times 4x minus 3. Now that I've rewritten it, I can multiply. So 4x times 4x, 16x squared. 4x times negative 3 is negative 12x. Negative 3 times 4x is negative 12x. And negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. So I've got some like terms here in the middle, so I'm going to keep everything else the same and add those together. And that's my final answer. It's really, really important that whenever you have a binomial squared, you rewrite it as the parentheses times itself. This is not the same thing as just squaring each term. You'll miss this middle part down here. So you have to make sure you rewrite it like this. All right, now to our last example. We have a parenthesis with three terms, so a trinomial, times a parenthesis with two terms, which is a binomial. Whenever I've got more than two terms in one of my parentheses, I like to create a box to help me with my multiplication. So I'm going to draw a box that has three across and two down because I've got three terms here and two terms here. So for my three terms, I'm going to split them up across the top. So x squared 2x and 4. My two terms are going to get split across the side, x and negative 3. Now I'm just going to multiply my terms and write the answer in the box where they meet. So this box would have x squared times x, which is x to the third. This box is 2x times x, so 2x squared. Over here I've got 4 times x, 4x. This box, I've got negative 3 times x squared. Here, I've got negative 3 times 2x. Over here, I've got 4 times negative 3. Now, I just need to combine my like terms. So this x cubed doesn't have a partner, so I'm just going to rewrite it. I've got 2x squared plus negative 3x squared, which is negative x squared. 4x plus negative 6 which is negative 2x, and then the negative 12 doesn't have a partner. And there's my final answer. If you don't like this box method that I just used, you can absolutely just distribute 
kind of like how we did here, making sure that you get every single term multiplied with every term in the other parentheses. I like the box because I think it's a shortcut to make sure you do that, but either method would be okay to use. So make sure if you have any questions on anything from this note section that you go ahead and ask your teacher. If not, then you should head over to a table and get to work on the ICP. Good luck!